guys it's your boy pool kind of boxing coming back at you with another boxing video for the boxing heads and the boxing mind please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content now tim zoo he fought real shower now this was a very intriguing match because you know we've seen Tim Zhu pop up all over the boxing news all on the boxing scene you know calling out Jamel Charlo but who is Tim Zhu right well Tim Zhu we know he's from Australia but he's the son of legendary Costa Zhu you know what I'm saying same Costa Zhu that beat Zab Judah you know what I'm saying so we're aware of his talent you know what I'm saying so we're assuming that some of that superstardom is rubbed off on the sun but we don't really know who Tim Zhu is right because I've never seen him fight you know what I'm saying as soon as I start seeing his name pop up I went back and watched you know what I'm saying a few of his fights and you know what I'm saying he has a lot of power he has a good jab you know what I'm saying? He has very good punch variety. You know what I'm saying? And he looks dominant against the level of opposition that he's fighting. You know? So who is he really fighting? You know what I'm saying? It's right now it's low level opposition. So he when this fight, you know, came up between him and Terrell Kashao, I was excited. I said, okay. You know, we're gonna see. We're going to see what Tim Zoo is made of. We're going to see today. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Terry Kashao, you know what I'm saying? He's a very good boxer, right? You know, he ain't no he ain't no killer. You know what I'm saying? You know, because he lost to uh, Andis, La Andis, La Andis Landy Laurie, right? Back in 2017. You know, he made a good showing of himself, but he don't like to release his hands, which is probably the reason why they chose him, right? For Tim Zhu, because, you know, they always, they always make sure they pair up the great white hopes with somebody with, you know, missing some kind of intangible. And that intangible is usually power and speed and footwork. They don't want all that to go together when they building up their great white hypes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Tim Zhu, you know, he fought Terrell Kershaw, uh, right? And in the first round, you know, he got dropped. In the first opening three minutes, and you could tell he was shocked. You know what I'm saying? And I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. And, you know, we could say, like, after that, you know, Terrell Kershaw, you know, he stop backing himself up against the ropes after he got caught with a good uppercut in the fourth round you know what I'm saying so he was timid you know what I'm saying and you know how he fights you know he puts up that high guard and you know he blocks everything he fights defensively you know what I mean and every now and then he would counter uh, Tim Zhu and get clean flush shots off you know but he didn't have enough pop on his punch to really discourage you know, Tim Zoo to keep him honest. And Tim Zoo would, you know, push him and bully him and, you know, push him back into the ropes, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes Kershaw would move, you know what I'm saying? But he would take a couple of shots here and there to the head, to the body. You know, he was just eating up shots. He was a punching bag. And, um, you know, but he fought enough defensively to, um, you know, to last 12 rounds. And every now and then he would, you know, he would count on uh, Tim Zhu. But Tim Zhu put on a massive offensive display when he backed Terry Gashaw into the corner. He would just pound on him, throwing, you know, just weird over the top, overhand rights, hitting him on top of the head. You know what I'm saying? With a, with a closed fist. It was weird, man. But he has a good variety of punches, some unique punches. And he's a body snatcher, right? But the one thing is that I saw, you know, in the fight, I don't think he could really uh, stay in there with, with uh, Jamel, you know, Charlo. 
You know what I'm saying? If Jamel Charlo is on his A game, I don't even know if he could mess with him on his B game. Because, you know, Jamel Charlo got power to discourage you. And he's big enough to move Tim Zoo back. Tim Zoo is a big boy. Because I don't know if anybody else noticed. He looked like he was about damn 265 up in that month. Or 268 up in, I mean, not two, but 168 up in there, man. He looked, he looked huge in that fight. I don't know what he rehydrated up to, but, you know, just the naked eye looking at him, you know what I'm saying? He was a big boy up in there, and he was leaning on Gusha, you know what I'm saying? Even, you know, trying to get a knockdown. I forgot what round it was, but, you know what I'm saying? He kept leaning on him and trying to push him down to the canvas, and, it was just like a real caveman type performance. He was just laying on him like he was a heavyweight or something. And it just wore uh, Terrell Cashaw down, man. And the power punches, you know, eventually, you know, Tim started throwing those body shots. And it was like, oof. You know, it's almost like you could feel it. And, um, you know, he won a unanimous decision. So... You know, when they asked him, it was like, how did he feel about the knockdown? And, you know, Tim was saying, you know, he, he's glad he he went 12 rounds. He needed 12 rounds. And he said that, uh, you know, Terry Cashaw's a warrior. He said he threw his right. And he said Terry Cashaw threw his right. And he said he didn't see uh, Terry Cashaw right. And he got caught because, you know, he was trying to be careful. He was trying to be timid. And um, it didn't work. So... He said, what are you going to do? He said, get up. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing you could do. Get up. And um, that's what he did. And he looked very dominant in the fight. You know what I'm saying? But can he fuck with uh, Jamel Charlo? I don't think so. And I'm not just saying that as a Jamel Charlo fan. You know what I'm saying? I'm just looking at how he got caught and how he got hit flush. And I believe if you get hit flush with, by Jamal Chala, he's going to have to tighten up on that defense. Now, he got great pressure. You know what I'm saying? He can, you know, he seemed like he's, uh, you know what I'm saying? He looked like he got some talent, man, you know. But I don't think he's, you know, messing with, you know what I'm saying, um, Jamal Charlo. Um, you know, I think Lubin to give him some trouble, but Lubin got that chin. You know, all of, you know, most of the 154 people got problems with the chin, and Tim Zhu seemed like he got a little pop on his punches, so, you know what I mean? And he's next in line to get the winner between Jamel Charlo and Brian Castano. So, you know what I mean? So we're going to find out real soon what Tim Zhu is all about. And, um, you know, as far as Terry Cashel, you know what I'm saying, he... You know, he needs to, you know, just kind of, you know, get. he's a gatekeeper. You know what I mean? That's what he's doing now. And, uh, you know, he's, he's kind of like Laura. You know, he's just good, good. But, you know what I mean? They're just not at the top anymore. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but Tim Zoo, good look at Tim Zoo. You know what I'm saying? Look forward to seeing him again. And, um, but that's all I got, y'all. This has been pulled kind of boxing. Make sure you uh, smash that like button for your boy. And um, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.